In this video, we look at our top five 64 gigabyte Raspberry Pi images, the best of the best, the ones that deserve to be highlighted. Let's check them out. In number five, Nacho's image. So as you can see there, it has a great introduction video, really clean. Um, this is a little bit of an older Pi image now, but at one point it was kind of the crown jewel of the 64s because it had such a diverse console collection. It had uh, ScumVM, it had MS-DOS. The ScumVM was in Spanish, some of it, but the MS-DOS was all English and all the other things were English not only on the PC front, but on a lot of the other older systems like video pack and television. Um, there's music already pre-installed, a really uh, diverse collection of music before a lot of images had the music uh, pre-built on there. You got the Daphne, CPC, Amiga. It has a really cool Amiga collection. You don't see Amiga pre-installed and working on a lot of things. Overall, really great image. It's, it's pictures only, no video snaps, so it's just loaded with content and great content at that. Um, also, I did a video testing all the arcade games on this particular image and I didn't find very many broken ones. So it's got a great arcade build, old systems, new systems, PC based systems, Cody, everything was on there. So for its time, it was the golden jewel. It's now in number five because we'd have some newer ones coming out, but it still does get in the top five. And then in number four. In number four, we have Gabber's 64 gigabyte out of this world. It is rocking RetroPie version 4.3, so you have the latest and greatest with your collections. You also have screensavers, uh, video snaps. You can also rock Phil's Retro-Rama theme as well, or load some of the newer ones if you'd like. Um, this is not a fully loaded image. There's some of the game catalogs that are only have a few select games, like Sega CD only has four games. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance only have a couple hundred games when there's you know over 500 per system. Um, so it is one of those images where you can kind of add your own to it. There is 19 gigabytes remaining on a 64 gigabyte SD card. So it'll definitely burn to almost any SD and you have plenty of space to add your own things. Some of the things that do set this one apart though, it has a nice N64 and PS1 collection. It's rocking a total of 7,306 games. You do have video snaps, which make it really snazzy, especially with this Phil's Doodles theme. And you also have loading screens and matching bezels. The bezels are really cool. I like the way they look. They really do add to the gaming feel. So if you like those kind of things, it's a great starter image. And in number three. In number three, we have Weird Dirty Gaming's 64 gigabyte, Ruckage themed SNES classic. Beautiful as you see. Some of the big differences right off the bat is this does include all your hack games. That's not always included. I know some people like those alphas and hack games that never really hit release, but you can still find ROMs for. It does have those. Um, it also has bezels. It has some systems you don't normally see like Game & Watch, PSP Minis, Nintendo DS, Amstrad, so really nice in those respects. The reason it's not getting number one though is it doesn't have that many more games than, their, than the 32 gigabyte that Weird Dirty Gaming is ma made. His 32 I think made first or second as far as my top 32 gigabyte images. The reason this one doesn't get much more is it only has like 500 more games than the 32 does and you only get 2.5 gigs remaining. Now mine didn't have, uh, mine only had box art. I think there may be video snaps on here that I just didn't unlock because it's using all of its space except 2.5 gigabytes, but I'll have to double check that. It does have bezels, it does have custom loading screens, so it looks great, loving the Ruckage theme. It's on RetroPie 4.3, so you're gonna get all your collections. It has a nice little PlayStation collection. Um, you get PSP minis and one PSP uh, Castlevania game. 
Um, so as I mentioned, the biggest reason why this didn't get first is A, the video snap's not working out the box, and two, the 32 is so great that it would it's really hard to beat that. And if I had to choose between 32 and 64, I might actually just go for the 32, and thus saving me some money. So that's the reason for number three on Wear Dirty Gamings. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. In number two, we got Gabber up again, this time with his Ruckage SNES Classic themed image. This did come out about a month after the image that is out of the world in number four. And this one, uh, again, still had some issues with Game Boy Advance, not putting the whole collection in, but it is rocking 8,155 games versus his previous build, only rocking 7,306. There are uh, pictures and then video snaps. So you got that working properly here. It looks great. You go into any console, you see not only the box art, and you wait a couple seconds, you get the video snaps. I love that because it adds that delay that video snaps often have with putting the photo first, so you really get no, no delay or very little delay. I also think it looks great as well. You do got eight gigabytes free on this, so plenty of space to add some more Game Boy Advance games or other systems, arcade sets, things like that. Um, I would say some of the reasons it's not that great though is that with the Game Boy Advance and the MAME, this is a shoot 'em up image. I noticed it had almost every single shoot 'em up game I can think of. Nintendo 64, you only have the two uh, Super Mario Kart and regular, which a lot of people don't like N64 for the Raspberry Pi, so that might be a blessing for you. Um, so there you have it. It's not an, it's not everything you want. It's not like everything dumped on there, ready to go. It is somewhat selective, but I love the setup of the pictures to video snap, the bezels everything and loading screens. As far as looks go, visually, amazing, amazing image. If I can make this number one, I would just fill out some of the N64 games that I know do run, the Game Boy Advance that I do do run, and maybe check out that arcade set. It seems a little small as far as the arcade set. Other than that, I mean, it's lovely. It could be great to add on to. It still has a lot of the classics. So for those reasons, it's in number two. And finally, in number one, Number one, we have Coin Junkies Synthwave 64 gigabyte image. It has a collection of Synthwave music, a uh, great collection of, you know, 80s arcade, think kind of a little less, but kind of like Stranger Things. It's got the introduction screen you just saw, it's got the music, and it's got the theme, it's got the loading screens, and it even has bezels to back it all up. And also, it has its own screensaver gallery. So it has like Mega Man, Sonic, all sorts of the classical arcade characters and kind of a ravey slash neon sign Tron-esque uh, look. So for those of you that like that retro looking stuff, this is your image. If you don't like it, it's easy to switch a lot of this stuff out, put, you know, Phil Doodles, Ruckage, whatever kind of uh, theme that suits your interest. Um, it's running over 41 consoles, over 14,000 39 games. It has an awesome Dreamcast and MS-DOS collection, just giving you kind of the best ofs. MS-DOS is actually quite the collection. You also have your Scum VMs, Intellivision, Nintendo DS. So as far as like a, what, what, why I love Nacho so much, the Coin Junkie has done here. And so that's why Nachos gets knocked down so much. It's because somebody finally took Nachos of Game & Watch, all these little systems that don't take up much space, but if you're looking for the ultimate collection, it's definitely for you. It also has Asylum Cody installed on it, and in the ports section, you're gonna notice that there's Mario War, Doom, Quake 3, all those additional ports that you may or may not wanna install on your Pi, already done for you, easy to do. This also does have a great arcade set as well, which is always important to have. So with all those things, this makes number one really, really cool, really beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think should make the top five? What do you think I should have removed? What do you think I should have added? 
let me know. I know some people prefer the everything and anything and fully decked out. And I know a lot of other people like, you know, rather than throwing in everything, just throw in the things that are must haves, have, have a nice uh, assortment of collections, things like that. I know it's all up to personal preference and I'd love to hear what yours is. Don't forget to give this a little like, share it if you'd like. And don't forget to leave a like, share, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to share this, that would be awesome. So we'll catch you on the next one.